Hello and welcome. Um, this is Stuke and today we're reviewing my 1953 Johnston Cookie Milwaukee Braves set. Um, this set was um, available in packages of Johnston Cookies. You would get one cookie per package and um, you could also order them from the factory. And they are black and white cards that were colorized. They are not color photos. And it's a 25 card set. And we'll start off with the manager, number one card, Charlie Grimm. Charlie's probably more famous for being the player manager in the 1932 World Series, which included Babe Ruth's called shot in game three. I like the color, colorized cards. You got the Braves logo on the bottom and a facsimile autograph down below the printed name. And the backs, backs are really cool too. Get the Milwaukee Braves. The old tomahawk. And then the Johnson cookie logo down at the bottom. No one makes cookies like Johnston. The number two card in the set is John Antonelli. He's probably more famous for his 1954 season with the New York Giants, where he went 21 and 7, and the Giants won the World Series against the very, very good Cleveland Indians team. And uh, John was the number two starter for Braves in 1953. Card number three, Vern Bickford. Card number four, Bob Bull. And Bob was also in the starting rotation. I believe he was the number four starter. And here's Lou Burdett. Lou Burdett was listed as the closer. He had nine saves in 53, and he also had a 15 and five record, even though he wasn't in the five-man starting rotation and he's famous for winning three games in the 1957 World Series and being the World Series MVP that year. We have Dave Cole and we're at number six. Ernie Johnson. And this is probably a mid-grade set. Probably VG to VGEX. Dave Jolly. I wasn't around to watch these guys in the 50s, so I hope I'm pronouncing their names correctly. Don Little. And the 53 is the most common of all the Johnson cookie sets. They also made them in 54 with a Hank Aaron rookie card in 1955. And none of the years are the same size. Here's Warren Spawn. Warren was a World War II vet. He missed baseball from the age of 22 through 24 and they asked him once if he thought he would win 400 games if he wouldn't have served in the military and Warren responded by saying he matured so much in those years in the military that he probably wouldn't have pitched till he was 45 if he had not been in the military 
And he was in some famous battles, including the Battle of the Bulge. He was 23 and 7 in 1953. And later in his career, he pitched his first no hitter at age 39. And a year later, he pitched his second no hitter at age 40. And he said that he, he had to be tough because he went over to Europe with a bunch of people that had the choice of going to jail or serving in the army. So he had to be tough to hang out with those guys. Number 11, Max Serkant. He was the number three starter, I believe. Jimmy Wilson. Sippy Sisty. Walker Cooper, who was a very good catcher during the 40s and early 50s. He, put, he played 1,223 games, and every game he played as a catcher. His brother Mark was also a major leaguer as a pitcher. Del Crandall was a starting catcher. Ebba St. Clair was the third string catcher. And Joe Adcock, he was a big guy. 1954, he had four home runs in a game. George Crow. Before coming into the major leagues, Joe played for the New York Black Yankees and the Philadelphia Stars of the Negro Leagues. Jack Dittmer, the starting second baseman. Johnny Logan, starting shortstop. Eddie Matthews, starting third baseman, Hall of Famer, 500 home run club member, 1953, hit 47 home runs, 135 RBIs. He took second in the MVP vote to Roy Campanella of the Brooklyn Dodgers. And that's, uh, Dodgers won the pennant that year. Braves won 92 games. The Dodgers won 12 more games, 13 more games. I think it was 105 games. The so Braves had a very good team. It just, uh, Dodgers had a little bit better team. Bill Brunton, an out, starting outfielder. This was his rookie year. He finished fourth in the rookie of the year, voting behind winner Jim Gilliam of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Sid Gordon, another starting outfielder. Andy Pafko, the final outfielder for the 1953 Braves. And card number 25, Jim Pendleton, who played significantly for the 53 Braves, primarily in the outfield. Played in 120 games. He also played for the Chicago American Giants in the Negro Leagues before coming into the majors. And that's your 1953 Milwaukee Brave Johnston Cookie Regional Set. Um, thank anybody that's watching and have a nice day.